Hi there, glad to see you and thank you for joining this lesson. Today we are going to speak about group of present tenses. As you know, at the beginning of tense form program you are going to do the revision of this topic and today I am going to refresh it. Let's get started. At first you have to pay attention at the screen. Will you tell me how many tenses are there in this group? Of course it's obvious, we can see four of them, but I'd like you to name them. Okay? Well, yeah, right. Thank you very much. The first tense is present simple or a simple present. It can be named. The next we have to speak about present continuous tense. The next present perfect and present perfect continuous. So, well, now let's consider them in details. So, present simple tense. Where is it used and uh, what does it describe? It describes habits, general truth, repeated actions, or unchanging situations, emotions, and wishes. And as you see, we can use present simple tense uh, for describing um, future time after conjunctions such as uh, as soon as, until, when, and so on. As you remember, that's the first conditional. And the next we have to use, or we can use present simple tense uh, for giving instructions or directions in order to get around in successful way somewhere in neighborhood or maybe somewhere in unfamiliar city. So, as you see um, at the table, the grammatical structure is pronoun plus verb, but you have to pay attention um, at the third person. In this case, we have to change uh, the verb and add uh, ending s or es. Example, they speak English at home or he speaks English at home. What can you see there? We can see the ending s when we use the third person. And samples of usage. I eat healthy food. It's a kind of habit. He works in London. It's unchanging situation. London is the large city. That's obvious. The next we have to read your exam starts at 9 uh, a.m. for example. It's uh, done according to some schedule. The next you walk for 200 meters uh, and then turn left. It's a kind of uh, given direction. And uh, the sample of uh, first conditional He'll give it to you when you come next Saturday. The next tense is present continuous one. And we have to, to say that it describes some action which is in progress um, at, the, at the time of speaking and hasn't uh, been completed yet. The next, we can use present continuous tense when something we think is temporary. Temporary, it means it's opposite to quanti co um, con um, um, not, not temporary something. For example, it's cold now, then it's, uh, it's uh, warm, then something is changeable. The next we have to say about something which is changing, growing, or maybe developing. And at last, we can use present continuous tense in order to describe uh, future plans or some arrangements. As you remember, the structure of uh, this grammar is verb to be in three forms. Do you remember them? Yeah, of course. M is R and plus verb with ing ending. Example, I'm speaking English at home or we are speaking English at home or he is speaking English at home. And of course you have to pay attention at the third person of course, yeah? The next, we have to consider some samples. Michael is at university, he's studying history. So he's studying history, um, it's a changeable action because this course can be over very soon. The children are growing up quickly. The climate is changing rapidly. I'm just leaving work, I'll be home in an hour and please be quiet because children are sleeping. That's the action in progress. 
The next we have to say about Mary is going to a new school next term, and we are planning to take part uh, in competition next week. That's good. The next tense we have to consider present perfect tense. And this kind of tense describes an action which occurred in the past, um, but um, has a result in the, in the present. Or maybe can describe, can show unspecified point in the past. And of course, when we talk about some general experiences with words, never or ever. For example, I've never been to New York, but I've got a dream going there. And the formula of it is uh, the verb to have plus past participle. And as you see, we have bought a new computer or he has bought a new computer. So two forms of verb to have. And samples. I have been to Spain three times. So um, at some unspecified time in the past, I went to Spain, it's my result. Uh, we can't find our luggage and there is a question. Have you seen it? Um, the luggage was lost in the past and uh, to, you will, you'd like to know where it is now. And the next, there are some phrases. Uh, has she ever tried Chilean cuisine before? That's a question as you see, but it is given in present perfect tense. And uh, I've never eaten Chilean cuisine before. That's my experience in my life. So the next point we have to speak about present perfect continuous tense. Uh, and uh, this um, tense describes the action uh, that started in the past, uh, but has continued uh, to the present or has just finished. Or maybe the action continued at the time of speaking or maybe writing. And when we'd like to answer the question, how long, we can use this grammar in order to show the period of some activity. As you see at the table, the grammatical structure is verb to be in perfect tense, have been or has been, plus verb with ing ending. Example. You have been doing the gardening since morning. Or he has been doing the gardening since morning. And um, samples. We have been learning English since the age of three. That's clear. When I was three, I, I started to learn English. And this process in progress now. They haven't been playing basketball for a long time. For a long time. Uh, my son has been laughing at inappropriate situation for the past two years. Or it has been raining when we can see a wet streets or wet roads, wet grass somewhere. It's a result of raining. So we uh, spoke about theoretical block. And now I'd like you to train a little bit your abilities, how to use these four tenses. Let's start. So, you have to fill in the correct form of the present tense. Simple or continuous, just only two tenses. You can't see term now. He, above, have. Will you try to think it over? What is Tom doing? He's having a bath. That's clear. The next, he usually coffee, but today he tea. Drink and drink verbs are given. You have to say usually it's related word to present simple. It means he drinks. Don't forget about this. But today, that's the signal for continuous tense. Today he is drinking tea. I won't go out now because um, it, rain, not have are given, and I an umbrella. So you have to substitute these verbs. So, uh, I won't go out now because it's raining uh, and I don't have an umbrella. So, um, in Spain, women usually wear hats, yeah? We can say woman, that's singular, don't, mi uh, don't mix them, but the women is given here. Women is plural and you have to use verb wear. He never to the theater, the verb go is given. 
What should you say? He never what? He never goes to the theater. And the last one. What's that smell? What's that smell? Something burning. You, you, you can say something is burning in the kitchen. It's obvious, it's concerned to um, present continuous tense. Well done. The next sentence, we have to speak about present perfect tenses. Present perfect or present perfect continuous. So, my wife is exhausted because she too hard all day. The result, my wife is exhausted, so it's a result of some activity. And you have to use continuous because all day, that's the uh, restriction of time. So, has been working. You see? The next. She in Berlin and never leave. What should you say? That's good. She has never lived because it's third person. Has never lived. I left her a message but she hasn't called. That's good. Amanda, Italian for more than three years. And verb um, learn. What will you say? Amanda has been learning Italian for three years. Actress, this is a word for a long time. Deserve. Actress is a great. And it's necessary to give some award to her, and she has deserved this. Fred and Jim for their exam all day. All day, that's a period of their activity. And we have to say they have been learning for their exam all day. So, and at last I'd like to, to go to the finish and four tenses, present simple, present continuous, present perfect, and present perfect continuous. And for, uh, for sentences, we have to try to guess which sentence do does correlate to uh, related um, tense, okay? So, they, their grandparents every week. What can you see? Every week. Uh, will you tell me what tense does it relate or do these words relate? Okay, that's present simple, of course, we can say. The next, they already their grandparents today. Already, that's related word to which grandma? Present perfect, that's good. They, their grandparents, for two hours now. As you see, that's a period of time. And you have to say about what? About present perfect continuous, of course. And then we have to speak about uh, they, their grandparents in town this afternoon. This afternoon, when we are talking about maybe future and the nearest, nearest future or some um, nearest plans to do something. Okay, and uh, that's present continuous. As you see in the corner, the verb meet. And we have to change this meet in the appropriate way. Let's get started. So, the first sentence. They, their grandparents, every week. As we've determined that is present simple tense, we have to say meet. Okay, the next, we have to read they already, their grandparents today. So, what have they done? They have already met their grandparents today. The next, they their grandparents for two hours now. Will you try to say uh, how the verb meet should be changed? Of course, there should be present perfect continuous tense. Have been meeting. And the last, we have to read the sentence. They, their grandparents in town this afternoon. Will you try to, to guess how can we change the verb meet? They are meeting. That's some arrangement about, um, about meeting with grandparents at the nearest time. So children, I hope this lesson was, hope, uh, was very um, good for you and it was so clear for you. And uh, as you remember, the group of present tenses consists of Four, tens, uh, four tenses, present simple, present continuous, present perfect, and present perfect continuous. So, I am glad to see you once again. Thank you for your attention, and 
goodbye